welcome back to Holo Holo. I'm Kataniba with your daily dose of all things entertainment and lifestyle for Asian Pacific Americans. Our guest today is a worldwide chef, author, and entrepreneur. She has made news for being the only individual to serve as chef, judge, and challenger throughout the Iron Chef series, and is also the only female Iron Chef UK contestant. Her love for food and passion to share Korean cuisines led her to host her own show, Korean Food Made Simple, which currently airs on on the cooking channel. Currently based in London, meet Judy Ju. I am Iron Chef UK representing America. That's how they swing in London. That's how they swing in London with a lot of black you know, A lot of expense account lunches, um, that's for sure. Yeah, What's your strategy? I am just gonna try to make something as fast as possible. Yeah, as fast basically. as, but that's a good strategy. Yeah. So I've gotta make something that's pretty freaking fast and decided to go with tacos. Strips of beef. Um, I think I need a little bit more. That looks like a traditional Korean uh, bulgogi. I'm also executive chef for the Playboy Club London. Playboy Club, it has to be quite fun and exciting. It's a fun menu, it's a fun atmosphere, and I think the food is fun as well. Judy, welcome. First of all, congratulations on your new project, Korean Made Simple. Thank now, you. First, tell me, where does your passion for food come from? Um, I think I have a lifelong passion for food, and it really started just growing up. In, in a traditional Korean household where, you know, Koreans love food and pretty much are obsessed with food. <laughs> and so eating was always a big deal at home. And my mom made everything from scratch just because we grew up in the middle of New Jersey where there weren't any Korean grocery stores or Korean restaurants. So my mom really had to make everything from scratch. Wow. So did you help her a lot in the kitchen? Oh yeah, we were forced to. It was like slave <laughs> labor. <laughs> But you actually yeah. went to Columbia University and studied engineering. Yes. How did that come about? Um, you know, traditional tiger mother upbringing, <laughs> <laughs> um, where, you know, I had a typical immigrant upbringing, I think, where, you know, you're forced to study a lot. I had three piano lessons a week. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we were taught that we had to go to certain schools, uh -huh. um, no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, I, I always thought science and math were easier. Right. Does that um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe for you, definitely not for me. <laughs> and um, so, I, you know, and my, you know, it was also really all I knew. My dad um, was a physician, my mom was a chemist, right. so I had the science thing going on. Yeah. And it was, it was really all I knew about. And so I kind of was like, oh, I'll go to engineering school. It'll be easier. I like math. I like science. And that's how that, that happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then how did you venture back into food? Um, well, I wanted to finance. And so I, I did a more traditional career at first. And then um, after five years, I was really not enjoying my job as much. Uh, I didn't have a passion for it. Mm -hmm. You know, fixing kanbans, I was learning a lot, working with great people, um, fantastic mentors, et cetera, but I just didn't love it. Right. And um, I decided that life was too short to do something that you don't love, and I enrolled in cooking school. <laughs> How did um, living in New York spark your love for food? Um, well, that really started in college, just because um, when I was at Columbia, Columbia is a very international school, and so the student body um, is really diverse. And I had, you know, classmates from Russia and Pakistan and India and everywhere. And so we would always kind of go exploring and eat food on the cheap throughout Manhattan and to different ethnic enclaves. And I remember going out to Coney Island and having Russian food, and going to there's like one block of Little Brazil and having. Brazilian food and, <laughs> and Curry Lane and things like that. So it yeah. was, um, it was that was kind of um, one of my first entrees into different types of ethnic food, but at a student level. And then when I started working at Morgan Stanley back mm -hmm. in '97, '98, um, there was a lot of client entertaining going on, mm -hmm. and uh, that's when I started getting a taste for fine dining and really getting an idea of what cuisine could be like at exactly. um, these, you know, three-star restaurants and how a meal could actually be transporting and you're creating memories. 
Oh, wow. Well said. Now, yeah. speaking of attending all of these restaurants, you actually was at a restaurant where Gordon Ramsay was at. I mean, tell me about this encounter yeah. that you had with Gordon. Um, well, Gordon, at that time when I was working there, he was really not in his kitchens anymore. His television career had started and he was spending more time filming. So um, I just kind of met him by chance. I was eating in his three-star restaurant uh -huh. and took him over to say hello. We started chatting. I said I was the chef and he said, when are you going to start working for me? What? So I, I met with his head chef, uh -huh. um, Simone Zanoni. <laughs> and, <laughs> Um, that went in to do a stage, which is an interview in the culinary world, mm -hmm. where you work for a day and they watch how you work and your technique, everything, mm -hmm. and um, started working there and was there for uh, about a little over two years, yeah. There's always more to life with some spice. And I'm passionate for the Korean flavors I grew up with in the States. In this series, I'm traveling back to South Korea from the buzzing metropolis of Seoul to the swarming beaches of Busan. You can only do it clockwise. That's a lot of work for one dish. <laughs> Introducing the people. When we come back, Judy dishes more about her latest show, Korean Food Made Simple, plus exciting projects that she has in store for all of us, from a book to more shows and a restaurant. All the details when we return.